We're all the same. We watch entranced as some long-haired Jesse in a velvet suit paints some punter's walls puce on the telly in the name of interior design. But then when we get to being cute, we head straight for the aisle marked beige. It's the same with cars. This is what we buy. OK, so the Vectra is hardly going to set your world on fire. It's not a car you're going to have a poster of on your wall. But it is a car used and driven by tens of thousands of people every day. When you spend half of your life in a car, you do start to notice even the smallest things, so fleet buyers are a pretty demanding bunch. No point giving the thing a pretty face if your backside goes numb after an hour in the driver's seat and there's nowhere to put your coffee cup. The interior has been worked out to the tiniest degree. Build and trim quality are improved over the outgoing model. There's loads of adjustment for drivers to settle in for those motorway marathons, and it manages to be extremely quiet once on the move. On the car we tested, that 1.8-litre petrol engine is adequate, but no more. This is a heavy car, remember, but once you've got it up to speed, everything's fine in the cruise. For the LS spec version, we got plenty of kit, but then you would expect that in this sector. Executives like toys, we all know that. It's never going to feel like a razor-sharp racer, which is just as well. Who wants to spend eight hours a day in a car that makes your spine ache? It'll change direction quickly enough and makes a good job of levelling out the tattiest stretches of road. As with all of these cars, it will lose money as all the old fleet cars flood the market each year. But that is good news, of course, for private buyers of used cars. And who cares if big corporations lose their money anyway? The old Vectra took boring to the level of an art form. Any more boring, in fact, and it would have been entirely invisible. So the new one didn't really have to do that much to beat it. Vauxhall have created a much, much better car in every way, though. Looks, ride handling and accommodation are all improved for the new Vectra.